The Rich Man and Lazarus I'm back children to share with you another beautiful story told by Jesus. You have to listen to this story very carefully because Jesus tells us important truths about what happens after we die. Once upon a time, in a certain city, there lived a rich man. He lived in a huge mansion. He had everything he wanted. He was always dressed in the most elegant manner in beautiful silk clothes. He could ask for the choicest food he wanted and he would get it. He had hundreds of servants who carried out his every order. He had a lot of wealth. He lacked nothing. Children, how did this rich guy live? Yes, he lived in luxury with no lack of anything. Everything looks cool. Near the gate of the rich man's mansion, there lay a poor beggar named Lazarus. He had no money and no food. He was always dressed in rags. Not only that, he was very unwell too. His whole body was covered with sores. No one cared for him. There were no hospitals in those days or the medicines that we have today. He could not even walk as he was frail and feeble. He was lying down most of the time near the gate of this rich man close to the road. He longed to eat anything that the rich man's servants threw away. Even those dried crumbs, he did not have enough. Children, what's the name of this poor man? You said it right. Lazarus. What is his condition? He was very poor. He did not have food to eat. No clean clothes. No house, no friend, no money and he was covered in sores. The rich man had everything, but did not care about the beggar at his gate. He never thought of offering any help to poor Lazarus. Was it difficult for the rich man to help Lazarus' children? Not at all, but he didn't care about poor Lazarus at all. He was selfish. Now back to the story. The time came when the beggar died. He had no proper burial or a funeral service. But when he died, the angels came and took his soul to heaven. He had a grand entry into heaven. He went there and met Jesus. Heaven is a place which is full of good things. There is no sickness, no sorrow, no pain, no more death there. We live there forever with God our Heavenly Father. It's a place where everyone loves one another. Lazarus was also welcomed by Abraham, who was his great-great-great-grandfather, who had gone to heaven many, many years earlier. Abraham hugged him and made him sit by his side. In heaven, we will meet our loved ones too, who have died earlier. A little while later, the rich man also died and was buried. Because he lived a selfish life, 
and did not love God or anyone else, he found himself in a place called Hades after he died. There was no God there. Only selfish people were there. They were always hurting each other and fighting one another. Also, he found himself in pain and suffering and in a burning fire. The fire there never went out and he was in a lot of thirst. He looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So the rich man called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me. It's very, very hot here. The fire is burning all the time. Please send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. Just some water drops, please. I am in agony in this fire. What's the problem in hell, children? Yes, it's very, very hot. Fire burning all the time and no water to satisfy the thirst. But Abraham replied to the rich man in hell, Son, remember, when you lived on earth, you received your good things, but you lived a selfish life. You didn't take care even about your neighbor in need at your doorstep. He was suffering from hunger and thirst. He was covered in sores all over his body. You had everything you wanted and never cared to help him or anyone in need. Whereas Lazarus went through bad things on earth, he had no friends to take care of him when he was sick. He had no food to eat, no clothes to wear, no bed to sleep on no home to call his own. But now he's comforted here. He has everything to keep him happy and healthy. And he is with his heavenly father. Now you are in agony because you failed to love God and love your neighbor. You were selfish and cared only about your comforts. The rich man in hell answered, Then I beg you, Father Abraham, send Lazarus to my family on earth, for I have five brothers. Let him go to earth and warn them, so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Now the rich man is worried about his brothers and their families. He doesn't want them to come to hell. He knows that they don't love God nor their neighbor either. Abraham replied, They have the Bible with them which tells them clearly about what happens after we die. They can read the Bible and come to know. Children, Jesus tells this story for us to understand that God loves us and cares for us. He wants us to spend our life happily with him now and in heaven after death. Anyone who hurts others or does wrong things will go to hell after they die. We all have done wrong things, haven't we? 
So, we cannot go to heaven. But, our Father God does not want any of us to suffer in hell. He sent Jesus to this earth. Jesus went through suffering and died on the cross for us so that we can go free. He rose again from the dead so that when we die, he can take us to heaven to live and rejoice forever and ever. When we believe in Jesus, he removes our wrongdoings and forgives us. We do not have to suffer in hell after death. He changes us and helps us to become caring towards everyone while we live on earth too. Do you want to give your life to Jesus, children? We shall now pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful story that tells us about the wonderful place called heaven. Thank you for coming to this world and suffering for our wrongdoings and for dying on the cross for us. Jesus, forgive all the wrong things I have done and make me your own child. Teach me to become caring towards everyone. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have a lovely day, children. Bye.